Welcome back. We are heading into week six of Dancing with the Stars. And before the remaining couples strut their stuff tonight, we welcome back our local dancing expert, Hunter Lyle, from Arthur Murray Dance Studio, to check in. You know, each week we talk about usually who's at the top and who's at right. the bottom. And we figured at this halfway point, since you join us on Monday before the couples actually perform tonight, we wanted to check in in the middle of the pack and right. see how those folks are doing who we haven't really talked that much about. It's been a great season. We've seen some people really lead. We've seen some people fall behind. And now we're in the middle, and we're seeing people pull ahead. But the middle of the pack, there's some good dancers and there's some bad dancers. So we'll kind of see what happens. Yeah, we are going to show you some clips from their last performance from uh, last week to just to kind of review. We start with Kurt and Anna, and we were just saying in the break, Kurt has been pretty consistent at not being at the top or the bottom, and I think he's just kind of, it seems like, coasted through without a lot of people really noticing that. I think nobody has. I mean, if you look at his dancing, he's very good. He's doing a nice connection with his partner. Very hard dance. I mean, quick step's a difficult dance to do. Um, the theme was nice. He got a 24, great score overall last week. But he's not risen to the top. So we're hoping that maybe if he keeps you know, working on his footwork a little bit, he'll kind of go a little further. And I think, um, you know, what's interesting, the athletes have always done very well in this competition. So it's kind of unusual to not see him at the top of the pack. But is. he is, I think, a strong competitor. Maybe he'll really push through and impress folks at the end of the season. I think so, too. Now, uh, my favorite so far, Rick Fox. <laughs> Who is a fox? <laughs> and um, Cheryl, you know, Cheryl knows about winning. She, I, don't, I can't remember how many uh, mirror ball trophies oh she gosh. has now, yes. but she's uh, consistently uh, a, a leader in this competition. And some of the other celebrities that have been voted off have said that Rick is one to watch. They really think he's going to sneak in and be a finalist there. At the I end. think he will. To be so tall, he moves very elegantly. He has a lot of movement in all of his dancing. He's not stiff. And he's dancing with a girl that's a lot shorter. And she's, then, of course, an amazing champion herself and makes him look great while he's moving out there. I think he will be one to watch. He's not off the show yet. And I think we'll see him in the final three by the time it's all done, maybe. And, of course, I think his strong suit that the judges have commented on is just his presence. He has a lot of charisma. You can't uh, counter the appeal that he has with some of the female audience that no, have been I, so I think far, the females so. like him quite a bit. He walks on the floor, <laughs> and everyone, or at least the females, take notice. <laughs> <laughs> that may carry him, a far, uh, carry him pretty far with the voting. And uh, finally, we have Kyle Massey and his partner, Lacey. They've had some really good moments where they've been towards the top. They've had some misses. What do you think they'll do as we head into the end of the You know, he's kind of an anomaly. Um, in the beginning, I really didn't think he would make it. And then he kind of captured everyone with a lot of charm. He's out there. He looks like a Disney person out there. You know, again, he's out there moving. He's fun. He's got a lot of energy. All of his expressions say he loves dancing. And with his partner, they're doing a great job together. I think he's one to watch as we go a little further. You know, they were saying with them being uh, young competitors that it was kind of hard for them to pull off some of the mature dances and that sensuality, but I think he does a really good job of staying in character, whatever the role is, and as an actor, he's got to be used to that. I think so, too, and his partner, Lacey, I mean, her dad was the swing king, so, I mean, they've got rhythm just completely through every bone in their body, so to watch them dance, they're going to move really well, and she is a very strong finisher as a partner, so I think we'll see something from these two. Well, don't forget, you will see week, week six right here on ABC 36 starting tonight. And, of course, find out who's going home tomorrow. And we'll be here next week with another recap of how they're doing so far. And you want to give our viewers a chance to win. Absolutely. Lessons. It's halfway through. So this is your chance to enter the drawing. If you call now, 278-7711, you're going to get two free lessons to get started. So call now, 278-7711. The first 36 callers. If it's busy, please keep calling. 278-7711. And you'll get two free private lessons to get started and enter the drawing drawing for 50 private lessons. So you have, uh, with this being week six, five more chances to get in <laughs> on that grand prize if you qualify. Thank you for being back with us, Thank Hunter. you so much. We will have more news right after this. Mm -hmm.